Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the XPG Spectrix S40G, an RGB rich NVMe drive, PCIe Gen 3, that's designed to work with both Intel and AMD setups, and should be compatible with most motherboards, and delivers a 3500 slash 3000 megabyte per second read write speed setup. It's also easy to install and most importantly, very affordable. Now this is an unboxing and an installation video as well as, as an overview of the features of it. And I'm going to show you the RGB lighting controls, talk to you about the benchmarks and then the performance and then talk about how it installs because you might not be aware of the installation process. So I'm gonna show you the various ways of installing it both in terms of hardware and software making sure it runs in Windows. Also going to give you an overview of what it's like, as well as some shots of it during the installation process. But in the box, obviously, you get the drive itself and nothing else. Fairly straightforward unboxing, a very simple affair with a reasonably nice looking NVMe drive, which, as I said, is very affordable. This is the 512 gigabyte version, so not terribly large. And yet it comes in at a very affordable price point, which makes it quite appealing. Also, reasonable speeds for an NVMe PCI gen 3 drive obviously not as fast as a gen 4 but if you're looking to save money and you just want a drive to say run your operating system on then this is a great choice and that is exactly what i've done with this one so i'll use this as the alone drive on an amd build where i'll be using it as the operating system drive and for general files this is the asus pro art b550 creator motherboard which I've used in a recent build with the XPG case, which I will be doing a video on shortly, and also in the Corsair 7000D Airflow, which I've also done a video on. The installation process is fairly straightforward. If you have an M2 slot on your motherboard, most modern motherboards do. This one has two slots, so you just need to find them under the heat sink. Try and use the top one. I've done a video separately on why that's important and the difference that using different slots might have on the overall speed of your drives and I'll link to that in the description. Well worth being aware of the differences there. But as you'll see on this Zeus motherboard, the installation is really simple. You just plug the drive in and then it's held down in place with a really easy to use clip. So this very clever clip system, which basically turns and locks that drive into place. This is a lot more straightforward than other motherboards that I've seen. And I'm gonna give you an example with a previous XPG drive that I tested out on my MSI motherboard, where essentially you plug it in and then you need a screw to screw it down with. That screw, unfortunately, is not included with the drive, and that's not standard problem with any NVMe drive. It's not just XPG. No one supplies the screws because they expect you to have them with your motherboard. Yeah, often included with the motherboard, you have an M2 screw, and I'll link in the description in case you need those screws to which ones you can use but you basically need a tiny little screw that then screws that down and you'll see that then goes in place along with the heat tape, the backing tape there, basically keeps it in place and ensures a, a good setup. And here you can see the S40G fully installed with the RGB lighting. You will note some RGB bleed. Now this drive worked immediately for me within Windows. So when I launched Windows, it was automatically recognized but if you need some support on how to install it, this is the process. So what you need to do is to open your Windows Explorer where you'd normally find all your different drives. And then you'll notice at the top here under the computer section, have the option to click manage. Clicking manage then launches the computer management section. And from within there, you then have the ability to click on disk management. Click on disk management and you'll see access to all the various different disks in there. If you're lucky, you'll then find that it's automatically recognized and it will pop up to initialize that disk. If that doesn't happen, you'll have to go into the BIOS settings and fiddle around with some settings in there to get it recognized. Once it's there, you'll see it as unallocated space. So you need to click to create a new simple volume and assign a drive letter. This is essentially formatting it and giving it a drive letter so that it can be seen within Windows Explorer. So I've done that and now I'm going to rename it something logical. This clip is actually from a previous video I did, but the process is exactly the same for any NVMe drive you set up. And so once you've done that, it's then accessible within Explorer. 
Now I'm going to quickly use Crystal Disk Mark to demonstrate the capabilities of this drive. So Crystal Disk Mark is essentially a benchmarking tool for drives that you can use. And I set it up to be real world test and ran a number of times, number of passes on it to see what the overall performance was. And as expected, it got 3,300 read speed and 2239 so it the date is a little bit lower than the stated because it's meant to be 3500 and 3000 in terms of the write speed so a little bit lower but real world performance is often a little bit less now there is some software that you can get for this drive obviously it's rgb so you can control the software you'll note that essentially in this software you have the ability to individually adjust each of the eight leds or to adjust them all in one go. You can basically click to assign the RGB lighting to all of them and also to turn the lighting on and off if you don't want it on. But you can see I'm going through and I'm changing the colors of the individual RGB LEDs in here, basically switching between different colors and settings for that. And then you can basically just apply it. You can also adjust the brightness. You'll see that on the right hand side. It's a fairly straightforward software. There's no frills here, but what you will notice is down the left hand side of it, there's also options for various lighting effects that I'll show you in a second. One thing that's also fairly obvious from the top part of this video, which is basically a clip of the camera capturing footage directly of the lighting while I'm changing it, you can see hot spots on the drive itself where the LEDs are visible, quite painfully visible, even on camera but also in real life. So unfortunately, the sort of bleed from them isn't diffused very well, which is one downside. However, if you, I feel like if you set it to one specific color, it still looks nice, but you can't, they really do sort of stick out. But again, you're paying very little money for this drive. It's very affordable compared to other more expensive drives from bigger brands or things like Samsung, for example. So if you want a really affordable yet reasonably fast drive with a nice setup, then this is certainly worth looking at. And you can see all the different effects that you can choose from. Quite a few different effects in here that are easy to access and easy to change between. And you have the ability to adjust the speed on them. Overall, though, I'm not a big fan of the RGB lighting on it. I feel like it's not that snazzy, but it is a nice addition if you want something that just stands out because obviously most drives don't have anything at all going on so and it doesn't seem to have a negative impact on the overall performance of the drive either so this has been the provoke prawn hope you found this video useful a good overview into the installation setup and obviously benchmarks of this drive to show you all the highlights of it let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.